Libra, how are you doing? Uh, just wanted to say that your card showed up at the beginning of the Gemini reading, so you might want to check that reading out. There might be something in it for you. I hope this reading finds you well. I hope you're doing well. This is your mid-monthly March tarot. It's probably going to be up slightly later than mid-month, but um, I've got a lot on. Okay, I'm just going to cut the deck, and I'm going to be told to pull pull 12 cards straight out. Ace of Cups. The Emperor. Wow. So I think Scorpio had the Emperor in exactly the same position as you did. So there might be something in that reading for you as well. Also, I think Cancer had the Ace of Cups straight up. Interesting, though, because there's a reading that... And the Fool. Interesting. This is very similar. Seven of Wands. This is very similar to a reading that I have already done. Ten of Cups. Ultimate happiness, fortune after difficulty, everything you've ever wanted in your life. And the Moon. Keep going on the journey, no matter how difficult it might seem to be. Two of Cups. Because there is a union coming in on your journey. Six of Swords. It's definitely a journey if the Six of Swords is showing up. The Devil. Eight of Swords. The illusion of being trapped. Making yourself trapped is actually something I've picked up in that. The Knight of Swords. Quite a fast energy there. And the Seven of Cups. So you've got two sevens in this reading. One ten. Okay. Yeah. Just two, just one double, two sevens. But you've got the Ten of Cups. That's really good. So you're going to be happy and you're going to find fortune after difficulty after going on this journey. The Moon. Possibly could be a Pisces or a water sign involved. But sim to another, similar to another reading, I think it was Scorpio, I think it could have been Cancer. Ace of Cups, Emperor. So being controlled in a love situation, which you have to leap away from, you have to take a leap of faith and get away from it. Five, six, seven. Seven of Wands. Ten of Cups. The Moon. Two of Cups. For, for this new union. Could be love, could be work. I mean, cups are love, so. But I'm getting work, reading intuitively. And then the Six of Swords, definitely walking away from the devil. Because, the, I mean, these two go together like kibbles and bits. The devil makes you feel like you're trapped. Eight of Swords. Hmm. So getting away from that quickly so you can work on your harvesting, your plans. Working on your plans is actually something I'm getting. Okay. Okay, well that card flipped back straight away. Now this is weird because the temperance. This is the third time temperance has come out right at the beginning of the reading. And the second time it's come out on the Ace of Cups. So there's a key message coming in here. Okay, Libra? On the Emperor, you have the Magician. So use your powers of manifestation for they are powerful. On the Fool, you have the Two of Wands. Picking the right path. When you leap off. When you leap. When you, when you, when you quantum leap. When you take that leap of faith. Picking the right path. Ooh, that one went flying. Mm. It's judgment. Thou shalt not judge. Is the message I'm getting through on that. I'm not kidding either. That really is the message. Six of Pentacles on the Ten of Cups. So that's really good. That is really good. To do with love. Love. 
something new in romance. What's coming out for the moon? Page of Pentacles come out already has come out three times. So it looks like it could be an earth sign. Two of Cups next. So let's see what comes up on the Two of Cups. Because I know most people want to know about relationships and things like that. Oh, and work. And money. Yeah, sure. And career. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So it could be a fire sign. Could be any sign. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. you got the King of Goblets next. So <laughs> the King of Cups. So it could also be a water sign. <laughs> Like I said, could be any sign. What have we got clarifying the devil? We've got the hermit. So don't get involved in anyone who's negative. Don't get involved in any ne negative toxicity. Keep your energy to yourself and withdraw. If that's what's happening in your life. Hmm. Eight of cups on the eight of swords. That's interesting. I think that's coming up simply to show us two eights. 88. 88 gods of the tarot. Nine of swords here. I haven't seen the nine of swords in a reading for quite some time. Now, it's not a good card to get, but it doesn't matter. It's obviously showing up here for a reason. It's showing up on the knight of feathers. Air. Swords. So it's showing up on the knight of swords. So a little bit less haste, I think, is quite important here. Don't be speeding to a destination that isn't going to be nice when you get there. The Fool. Z. Now, you've already had The Fool in this reading. So def definitely taking a leap of faith, Gemini. Libra, I apologise. So you, when you when you got the fool in the top row, you it was your third card out, and you got it with the two of wands. So picking the right path, I think, is what I said. The seven of cups, which can be a sort of choices energy. So making the right choice in that leap of faith. Okay, Libra, thanks for being here. Peace be the journey. Take care. Click. Grab it though.